Good morning. Sunday morning. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Zeducation and welcome to another episode of You Laugh, You Lose. And today's punishments sucks. It's going to suck really bad for a lot of you. Uh, and before we get to that, I just want to say, obviously, this past week was a very crazy week. I was going to make several videos surrounding the topics of this past week, but everyone and their mother is doing that. Everyone's talking about that. Uh, and instead of inundating you with things you've probably already heard, uh, I decided that today I'm just going to wait till Sunday and test you guys. Test you again because there's no laughing in these times. If you laugh, you're a bad person. And if you made memes about this past week and we're about to find out, shame. Shame on you. For real though, we will be talking about all the events from this past week on the Zedcast channel in an episode this week. Uh, so if you are interested in that, head over to that channel. Please subscribe there. Please click the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. And head over to your podcasting platform. But before you head over there to those platforms, we need to take care of business here first. If you laugh at anything today, you have to order an entire Hawaiian pizza from Domino's and eat it before the weekend is over. That's your punishment. I'm sick and tired of this pineapple on pizza discrimination, all right? I'm sick of it, and I cannot believe this is still a thing on Zeducation. If you accept the terms of today's challenge, head down, like this video, make sure you're subscribed, and let's begin. Freedom! If you missed this story from this past week, we'll cover it further in a That Didn't Age Well episode next week, but Kamala Harris made up a story, and not just made up a story, plagiarized a story from Martin Luther King saying that when she was a girl, at a parade, she fell out of her car seat or her stroller, and her parents asked her what she wanted. She was like three years old, and she said, freedom. It's hard to be the worst liar in Washington, D.C., because they all are liars. She takes the cake. I wish we could choose our baby fathers. <sighs> I'd laugh at that, but uh, that is a real tweet. And if this girl didn't know, yes, you can choose your baby fathers. Unbelievable. Nice. That's funny. <laughs> that is funny. An Italian American is held still and forced to watch in horror as pineapple is added to pizza for the first time. 1914, Brooklyn, New York, colorized. You guys, from the Washington Post, December 21st. Congress rescue aid, a dose of support, but is it enough? December 22nd. Trump calls on Congress to approve $2,000 stimulus checks. December 29th. Why increasing the stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000 is a bad idea. Great summary of the media for the last four years and in this past week. Absolutely disgusting. Did you know? When a short person waves at you, it's called a microwave. That is not PC, guys. That is not a PC joke. I can't believe... You made this meme. Don't you dare laugh at that. Joe Biden says blatantly racist things. The news. I'll allow it. Fact check true. For 2021, I wish you the strength of the stool and the courage of the dog. Wow. Yeah, that's the strength of titanium and the courage of Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic. Delish. I stand with Tyler. Stand strong, guys. Stand strong. America. Meme lords. It's meme lords, keep doing your thing. Never stop making memes, ever. Unless it had to do with this past week. Don't make memes about that, all right? When you get $600 instead of $2,000, so you just steal Pelosi's podium to call it even. Guys, can't believe you made a meme out of this. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you guys? Is that Tyler Zed? Quit doxing me. Quit doxing me, all right? Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, you guys, you guys. If you spent all summer protesting against police brutality, but are now upset the police didn't brutalize those you don't like, you didn't really care about what you were protesting. If those kids could read, they'd be very upset. An abundance of hypocrisy on social media this past week. My advice to all of you, 
just log off. Log off. It is doing no good for your mental health. No good for anyone. Just log off. That is that is the solution. Go fishing. Go fishing. Go hunting. Go to the archery range. Go do something productive, all right? Ten years from now, you'll put on a jacket and find a mask in the pocket. Oh, man, what a weird year that was. You'll chuckle to yourself. Then you'll pick up your machete and continue across the wasteland, keeping to the shadows to avoid the roving gangs of cannibal raiders. That's a very optimistic look into the future, if you ask me. The government shuts down the country, destroys lives, gives people $600. Also the government. Why are people mad at us? We're not representing the people. I don't know why Why are my people, the people I'm supposed to resent, mad at us? I don't know. Congress. Clowns. I'd like to cancel my subscription to 2021. I've experienced the free seven-day trial and I'm not interested. This is what grass is always greener people do. Look, they, they say the time now is bad. And then once that time passed, they look back and think it's amazing. It's, oh, I wish the, the, the good old days. And they look forward to the future where the grass is always greener. Then when the future gets here, they're not happy. This is what grass is always greener people always do. And I think 90% of people plus are those types of people. That's just my, you know. And I'm not saying things are good. But, yeah, you know, things could be worse is all I'm saying. You telling me. This tactical genius overpowered the officers for the <laughs> Oh, dude. It is a good point, man. I mean, tactical genius? Yeah, really? This was DC in June. Please spare me your outrage. No, oh, guys, that was just. That was just, all right? That was, that was peaceful. Get it right. If you're going to spew facts, spew facts. This was peaceful. Bro, you seeing this? Hold up, got a line. <laughs> Bro! Oh yeah, they were just basking in this. Absolutely thrilled to see what happened that past week. Guaranteed. A decision was made here. Seems to be a good decision. And this was clearly a long time ago, because if you go to try to find any workout equipment now, at-home work equipment, good luck. And you will end your prayers with amen. Well, that's a bit sexist. Yeah, what about a woman? This is how Congress is now rewriting history. Japanese mayor says only men should be allowed to go grocery shopping during coronavirus crisis because women take too long. That is a real article, a real proposal from this Japanese mayor, I swear. Can you imagine the outrage here in America if that happened? If you're a mayor in America, please come. I just, I just want to see. I just want to see the reaction. I want to see the meltdown. Some of y'all's picks. That is true. This is one of the reasons I hate Instagram, social media. Because, uh, yeah, this happens all the time. For COVID reasons, only two captains are allowed on the field for the coin toss. Two minutes later, 22 guys step on the field and line up across from each other. Then the blocking and tackling commences. It's called the lack of common sense. No, guys. No, that makes total sense. All right. It makes total sense. This is exactly my problem with everything going on right now. As far as the social distancing stuff, as far as the lockdown stuff, none of it makes any sense. There's so many conflicting policies. It's so laughable and it shows the absolute incompetence of bureaucracy in our government. It does. In related news, Rep. Debbie Wasserman Schultz may now only be referred to as Wasserperson Schultz. Thank you, Matt Getz. I, I've been saying this for years. It is gender discrimination to continue to use Wasser men. It's Wasser person, Schultz. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No matter how bad it is, it can always get worse. This is what I've been saying. Exactly what I have been saying. And if you are a Game of Thrones fan, you know. You know it can always get worse. If the news is fake, imagine how bad history is. Very crazy to think about uh, because the saying winners write history is very true. Um, and there are many examples of that, but how accurate is the past? I don't know. I don't know. And I am very interested to see how the, the, the history books look in a hundred years. I wish I was alive to see how they write about today because I can only imagine waterproof sock, $10. <laughs> Come on, man. This year, I'm finally going to get in shape. Fact check, false information. See why? Are you still doing your New Year's resolution working out? Uh, usually by about the second week in January, people sputter out. So 
that probably is false information for most people. Society, men with mental health problems. Be a man. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. This is such a non-PC meme. I am so offended. Ugh. Tyler Zed is a deep fake created by a group of conservative high school girls as a senior project. Change my mind. Um, next. My future looks bright. After high school, I will die. Wow. Uh, that answer is correct. Everyone's going to die, but uh, not very bright. If Facebook existed in 1776, the British are coming. False information. See why. Not all the British. Only the British army, so partly false. This is very, very accurate in how fact checkers fact check information today. They'll say the headline, false. Which, as we've talked about many times on this channel, the headline is all that matters. Because most people will see that and move on. I think there, there was a study done, about 70% of people. They don't go into the details, but if you go into the details of many of these articles, it'll say stuff like partly false and give reasons like this. Don't trust fact checkers. If you see a fact check, go in there and see why. Free Wi-Fi. Oh my... Jeez, I wish uh, I had built-in Wi-Fi. Not. <laughs> Little did you know, a woman actually originates from Hebrew's sister language, Shebrew. Eh, I learned something today. Wow, that's interesting. As peace washed over the land, Tyler Zed, Kim Jong-un, Tim Pool, and Steven Crowder form the most successful boy band ever. It, honestly, I would drop everything. <laughs> I would drop everything, this whole channel, to be in a boy band with Kim Jong-un. Tim Pool, Steven Crowder, that'd be cool too. But Kim Jong-un, epic. <laughs> When you're so woke, you bring back segregation. Harvard will host its first ever black only graduation ceremony. This is the level of wokeness that we are at. Um, and that's real. They did that. Harvard did that. Many other colleges as well. That is the definition of segregation. And it's being brought back voluntarily. That's being woke, guys. Unity, peace, healing, love. It makes sense. One can end your life in a second. The other is a nine millimeter bullet. Americans, where do my tax dollars go? The U.S. government. There, in there, in there, in there, in there, in there, in there, 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 in there, in there. Shameful. This is by far the most country sh** I've ever seen. That is uh, next level dedication to the art of fishing. I commend you. Abdomen, abdomen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you for changing this. Vegetarian is an old Indian word for bad hunter. It's true. It's true. Fact check true. 2020 showing 2021 around the workplace. Very accurate depiction. When you're winning the argument with facts and they start attacking you personally instead of addressing the topic. That's when you know you have won. And if you get into an argument with a person like that, that person probably never wants to hear the other side of an argument. So don't ever try again. Waste of your time. Breaking news at 11. Croc Healy maker being sued by family of customer who drowned in. <laughs> this is a problem, guys. Women love these things. They are so attracted to these things. Um, so tread carefully. It's <laughs> sometimes I just need to hide out in good news and dad jokes for a while. Guys, like I said, just log off social media. Most of the time, 99% of the time, not just this past week. It's just pointless. You're, not, you're only going to get pissed off at a lot of stuff. Unless you follow a bunch of cat videos and all that stuff. So just log off. That's my advice. Log off. Delete it even. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one way to do it if you don't have a mask. Breaking. Lunatics take over federal building. Right, lunatics have been in the federal building for a long time. Proof. Nothing more hilarious than watching somebody pull their mask down to take a big puff of a cigarette and quickly put it back on because, you know, health. I have actually seen this quite a bit just around town, going to the store. I have seen a lot of people wearing a mask, take it off, take a puff, put it back on. Health. Health. This seagull got his stimulus check. 
like I said before, I wish we could find out where people spent their money because people likely spent it on J's, Jordan shoes, TVs. It's not really going to help much, if we're being honest. Scoop, the Joe Biden inaugural parade has been canceled. Tens of people are devastated about this. Probably true. It's going to be very, very hilarious to see everyone ragging on Joe for the next however many years before Kamala takes over. Uh, he doesn't have the support of yet maybe a fraction of the country. Maybe a fraction. Even like the Bernie bro group of the left. They don't like him either. They are going to be crapping on Joe too this whole time. So Joe is going to get it from everywhere. And it's going to be a bad, bad, bad time for him. Biden promises nationwide mask mandate and woman date. I am just waiting for him to come out and say woman date. It, I will bet money that that will happen. Are there any countries that tax their citizens and then send it to Americans? Just curious. No, because they're not idiots like our Congress. In 2021, be like this guy. Everyone should be like this guy. If the government has enough money to send to foreign countries, then the government is taking too much money from taxpayers. When you buy expensive bed sheets and then realize it's the wrong size. Funny story, actually. Somebody sent me an email about a couple months ago when there was a meme like this. And I think we can all see the irony and the the humor in this meme, if you have a sense of humor. Um, but this person that emailed me didn't have a sense of humor and got really mad about a meme like this. It's a joke. Get over it. Air Force weapons training. Whoever did this, quit making us look bad. The pointy part goes up. It goes up. Everyone knows that. Thanks for making us look bad. You thunder against me. <laughs> You have done that yourself. <laughs> you guys, enough Hawaiian pizza discrimination. I'm so sick of this. How did you do in today's video? If you laughed at anything, especially during these times, because you should be miserable, you should be dwelling on everything, especially in the news. You should be fo hyper-focused on CNN and MSNBC. If you lost, if you laughed, you have to go get a pineapple pizza now and eat it, whether you like it or not. After you do that, come back to this video and let me know how it was in the comments. While you're down there letting me know how you did in the comments, please like this video. Please help me get it recommended to others. Also, please head over to the Zedcast channel. Subscribe there for another episode coming this week. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. A man and a woman. Idiots.